What was your welcome to the NBA moment? You remember? <laughs> well, my very first game, um, Larry Drew picked me uh, right mid court. I dribbled up the court, and we we're in uh, Kansas City, <laughs> and he just took it from me. And it wasn't very crowded, and some guy in the stands yelled "CBA, stop the CBA!" And I went, "Wow, welcome to the big time." Did anybody ever talk trash to you? I was told they did. I, I didn't notice it. I mean, I, I, I've been told that I've been, I was fairly focused, and um, um, I, I'm sure people, guys did. And, and I was also remember a guy yelling at me one game because I didn't respond to his trash talking, and he just kept yelling, talk to me. <laughs> so, and then it, all of a sudden it occurred to me that he had been talking to me. So um, anyway, I think I missed out on a lot. Was that Jordan who was saying talk to me? <laughs> no, no. No, actually, he didn't talk much. We had uh, we we had one exchange in our entire careers, and our careers matched up. We came in the same years, et cetera. But uh, we only had really one exchange, a fairly heated one. But it was uh, it wasn't really trash talking that I recall. What was that about? That heated exchange? Oh, there was a foul going on. I mean, there was. Uh, I think Randy Brown was in the game at the time, and and uh, Michael took offense to something that went in there, and he checked himself in and. <laughs> <laughs> then we, we had the very next play, and, and, and he got a foul, and um, he said something as he was walking, walking back to the bench, and I said something back again. You, you kind of – things fade over time, so I've forgotten the actual details, but that was it. Yeah, because Jordan, I think, is saying you play dirty to you. <laughs> no, I, I, I felt more respect for Michael than that, frankly. Um, I mean, he, he played as hard as anybody and as physically as anybody, and, um, you know, I, I never sensed those types of comments from him ever. Bird never said anything. Well, he did, but not to me. I he, I remember as a rookie, uh, he came in, <laughs> he walked by our bench at the Salt Palace and said, "I feel like forty three tonight." <laughs> and he came out, he scored forty three in the third quarter and checked checked himself out with a twenty point victory, and uh, I was fairly impressed with that yeah. one. So he just picks a random number. I feel like mm, forty three. And he says it yeah, to, the, to, uh, to the bench? Yeah, yeah. It was fairly impressive, you know, especially yeah. when, he lived it, when he backed it up. Did you ever feel like you could have one of those nights where you could get 50? Not in the NBA. I felt summer league. I felt it a couple of times back here in Spokane. Yeah. But uh, no, no, it was, uh, um, you know, back to the past first thing. It, it wasn't the way I was wired. Um, seldom do you get those many shot opportunities when you're when you're I guess looking for passes and opportunities to get other guys involved. But uh, um, no, never never even considered it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv or download the Dan Patrick Show app.